Mr. Fishkin, this was, as people keep saying, your brainchild. Did it turn out as you hoped it would? Did it accomplish your goals? Oh, yes. The people came, they thought about the issues, and they changed in dramatic and coherent ways. And I think, at least, they made a lot of sense. We put the entire country in one room under conditions where it could think about the issues. Instead of basing uh, responses to polls on, uh, from impression of headlines and sound bites, we tried to create conditions where people would have access to a lot of good information, and most importantly, where they could talk over the issues among themselves and encounter people from all walks of life. There are thousands the national random samples all the time, but this is the first time tonight, this is the first time in this project that anyone has seen a national random sample of Americans. Anyone has seen America all in one room, and under conditions where they can think, they came to conclusions. My, bet, my bets were first that we could get a representative sample and that it would have something to say, and I think we've heard that it had a great deal to say tonight. Is it your view that this kind of poll is somehow more reliable, superior to other kinds of polling? No, it's different. It's meant to serve a different purpose. I would What's, not... Yeah, what is that purpose? It has a recommending force. Just, uh, that is, this is what the people in microcosm think about the issues, provided that we have good conditions for them to think about the issues, and it's a voice worth hearing. It's a different voice. Mm -hmm. It's not the same as... as uh, it's, not a, it's no longer a picture of public opinion as it is. It's a window on America for public opinion as it might be if people became more engaged in the issues.